Ooh, Apollyon and Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the Monarchs, the Seraphim, but... You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where, and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Does does Apollyon still... Is that still her job, the judge of the damned? Dead. Dead? Uh, no, she... She retired, sort of. After her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Nistron now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono, uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get, like, a, like, like a retrial or something? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. Okay, little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the Courts of Hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually supreme. Huh, I thought about going to law school for a minute. I, uh, I switched majors a lot. <laughs> Only about a hundred million times? Well, what's the point of majors when the world's burning, okay? At least, that was the... Wasn't that the title of your application? I was essay? just gonna say that. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot. The first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So how how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. Not likely. Mr. Andy, have I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle, who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn, so... Save the My Talking Parakeet made me do a defense, still that, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please, could you, can you help me? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not be afraid. Sure, what, what do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just, uh, just straighten my hair a little? Mi madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound, so I cannot reach my head. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off, is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deal, but I am not so inventively rude. Please, by helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. Your, your madre would be proud, or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. Interesting uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Why wouldn't they? I know I'd want to see how much you like, you know, big asses. Is that the worst thing you could think of? I don't watch a lot of male-directed porn, okay? I prefer my porn AI compiled from National Geographic documentaries.
The sign says that giant door is the the 87th propyleum to the nine circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockro to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockro. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. The unchased crater. It says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it unchaste because God was being rude. The Karma Magistratus, the Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about getting a good parking space, you know? Like, do they deserve to be tortured in hell for... Yes. No, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh huh. And what about. And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Help Lutzelfrau out, all right? I do have an assortment of deli meats as well. I think we're good for now. Little Frau! You got, this chick's got, she makes the best Cubanos, honestly, man. I don't make Cubanos. I'm a sorceress from the Black Hills, Little asshole. Little Frau, yeah! You found one of Little Frau's luminous candies? I, uh, sure? No, we're good. Oh, I want to, to, to taste the sweet nectar of Lutzelfrau's cat cakes? Um, maybe? No, we, we keep forgetting that this is gross, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're just, you're gross, okay? I'm sorry.
commemorating the fallen in the war against the Sons of Light by the Lords of Darkness. The sealed knot. I think this is the place. Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve you. Uh, listen, Bouncer Guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Um, excuse me, uh, fellow... fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, uh, foot... hands. Oh, right this way, sir. Okay, so... I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius, and I feel like I might have broken through to the other side. Do you really think of me as someone who's looking to humiliate you at every turn? You can only pants someone on the jungle gym so many times, Lola, but look. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, 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 all we need to do is put together a costume, slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon, so... so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah? Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I was trying to... Uh, let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. That, uh, witch? Uh, Lutzelfrau? Her coat might be good for this. Ugh, okay, I just hope she washes it. Probably not. Probably not, no. Uh, hey, so when you told Sam about how I was gonna work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you... Uh, I don't know, you, you didn't seem... Uh, well, you did seem a little, like... I, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Oh, geez, I need, like, a thesaurus. Annoyed? Even though, you know, you're the one moving. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel, like, betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. 
Betrayed? Are you joking? This isn't a Harold Pinter production, Milo. I'm not betraying you by moving. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your, your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. Uh, Lutzelfrau? Yes? We, uh, we want to... Look, we'll eat your diarrhea candy, but we have a request. God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit! Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone, quickly! Your dress. I it's so... I've just never seen this fabric before. And it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials at Coles. For this, you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please? Right. Good catch. Eh, uh, what's the hold up? Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola bellied rats, do you, my dear? Oh, my dear Jesus, it's 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 so damn good. <laughs> I can't I, I, I can't even uh, <laughs> Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get some candy. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come on. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay. Now, the dress, if you please. Give us the... the dress, you... Oh, God. Why was I bored? Okay. Follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits, you're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the hit, and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're like way taller, aren't you? <laughs> Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Ta-da! I'll be honest, I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cockknockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much, it's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not that easy to carry? Oh, watch it. Not kidding. Well, I'm not saying... Just forget it. It's fine. You're, you're, you're light as a feather. A hummingbird feather. Just take it easy. Just stop humping my I'm neck. I'm not humping your neck. Just stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Ugh. Okay, just forget it. Tally-ho! Tally... Tally-forth! Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly.
We're meeting Apollyon in there, Footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Upscale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. Shut your pie hole, human, before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. Oh, my apologies. Scusi. Uh, but you, you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. Okay, you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move, walk straight to the kitchen, and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Avert your eyes, surf. I was braining insurance agents when you were still suckling at your dragon's teat. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> Get ready to see some wild shit. Let's try not to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. What are you, saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Holy shit, the, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there, I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's, it's hard to really walk. Uh, Steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. Hello, fellow, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I, can I help you with something? This is funny. <laughs> we look uh, pretty similar, right? Don't you think? Yeah, A classic summer style down here, right? Wow, supermodel convention show up? What can I get you? Uh, one grand exhibitionist. Oh, you getting sick? <laughs> Why do you ask? Cause you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell flu season, so... I just wanna know if I should put on a mask. Hey, I might be sick. It was so cold in my apartment, I chipped my tooth on my suit. Huh. That sounds like something two idiot humans disguised as one gangly demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that would be a sight. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegals. Whoa, this... We took a turn somewhere, because... Ugh, gross, guys. What, what's going on? I can't, I can't see. It doesn't smell like my grandmother's basement. Man, thank God I'm on top. Your delicate sensibilities could not have handled this, Milo. They're doing things with their bodies that only starfish should get away with. Oh, I hate being on bottom. Boy, this is... I should take notes. They should let more people in here. Whoever can't see this is really missing out. Oh, thanks. Hi, uh, mind, mind if we... Smell that? It smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not... I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. Hey, that uh, that reminds me. What did uh, what did one eye say to the other? Between you and me, something smells. Ah, you must be the clown my ex-wife ordered me for our anniversary. Actually, you know what, guys? 
I don't think it's the scars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it... biothesaurus. You buy it, thesaurus. It'd be best to put this one in a muzzle, I think. Right, Polly? Do I know you? Mm -hmm. Hey, I mean, maybe you did. When I told my doctor about my memory loss, she made me pay in advance. <laughs> Don't. Okay. All right, I'm going to reload. Anybody want another? Deltica, Horton Squander? Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, new lead counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone... No one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. Um, Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. Really? The Scuttlebutt? Major General Scuttlebutt? Wait, this is a real person? Major, it's a pleasure to meet you. While you were serving on the northern flanks, I was fighting the Imperial Eagle in Heaven's Sixth Sphere. Remind me again, how was the combat in the Fixed Stars? Oh, I love a good war story. Yes, General, please regale us. Uh, how was it? Well, kind of like me sitting in this bar, you know? We all got bombed. It's weird that angels would use bombs, but uh, for the joke, I'll accept it. God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. There was a rumor going around that he'd become a pathetic vagrant, pooping himself and sleeping outside. Well, take it from me, General Scuttlebutt. I'm very glad to know that that's obviously not the case. You're General Major Scuttlebutt? Uh, pleasure. Didn't know. So anyway, Lori stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh no. So of course the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had a butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Major Scuttlebutt? I was just about to ask the same question. I'm in the, uh, the pants department. Slacks, mostly shorts, if I'm feeling frisky. Pants? Can't say I've ever heard of that. Oh, are you with the satyrs? Yeah, what floor of fucking Kmart is that on again? Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Wait, guys, Polly isn't... Our... <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But, uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no, go on about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? I think he's Dutch. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just, uh, Lucifer's been, well, Hell hasn't been a source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think. I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following. What, like a hostile takeover? How would that even work? Beelzebub's been running things for practically a millennia now, and Satan, if he's not careful, He's looking for another fall. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. 
I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse opens soon. It was nice meeting you. All right, we successfully pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. That's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup, right? I know I shouldn't get, like, excited about it, but... Yeah, no, it's crazy. I thought it was a lot to handle when those two fast food restaurants were smashing bottles in each other's parking lots. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be around when uh, stuff starts happening. Let's just find Apollyon and outdrink the judge. Yeah, I think she went in back. Let's uh, take a look. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Major Scuttlebutt? I'd like to maybe think about this longer than you might expect. These are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. Okay, the uh, the jig is thoroughly up. I uh, we can see when the cards just aren't falling. We'll just be on our way now. You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. A drink. But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. <laughs> Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, Your Your Honor, we just want your seal, okay? We we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell, <laughs> for that matter. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll forget all about all this stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to... replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Yes, they... they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story. Correct? Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manor defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight, and will lie more to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Uh, um, how? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the Public Defender's <laughs> Office. Uh, uh, seriously? Yes. Um... Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. What's happening? You are now part of Roberta Spaghetti's defense team, Major Scuttlebutt. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. Andy. Ready? I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh brought up to speed they'll learn on the go it's fine they're professionals professional is what they are hey if you say so already hands and feet inside the cart at all times please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat and see you on the other side kids you uh you want to get in on this Sent me to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. Lady.
ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speaks for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and General Major Scuttlebutt. Huh? That's just stupid. I need a drink. Yeah! Yes, here, here! Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. I'll have the... rabbit's head, I think. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts man to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tenevillis. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh shit, this is ours. I mean, it's the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client, Roberto Spaghetti, is innocent of all charges. Uh, Roberto, I don't know if you're uh, fully aware of all that hell has to offer. Like, did you know that the, uh, the Bobcats won't win something? Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the Warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we... do we really? E yes whoever said that. The Warlock died in a Warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, right. Your Honor, how about we have a break for some lunch? You know, let this jury rest their laurels a little. There is no jury. The idiots you see here are just an audience. Well, I mean, I personally wouldn't mind having some hush puppies right about now. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes... It turns your face into a rabbit. It got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. That confession is a forgery, Your Honor. I, I, I watched Andy trace the warlock's signature from his uh, driver's license. Boo! What? I wouldn't. Bailiff! Sorry, Charlie. Lots permitted in the courts. You know that, we all know that. I mean, we are in hell, but... Forgeries are for absentee landlords trying to prove they don't speak English. It's beneath the eyes of Minos and beneath this tribunal of karmic distribution. But... Any other evidence? Never mind, shot clock expired. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you... Guilty. 
<laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately remanded for processing in the morning. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The High Courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok Fuel Pump Sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! I don't feel good about what we just did, Milo. Sending Roberto to hell? That We should have just rolled the dice there. Maybe tried working another monarch. I don't know. Listen, Polly, Apollyon must know something we don't. Why else would it be so important for her to keep Roberto in hell? I just wish I didn't have to see his face when he... when he realized he wasn't getting acquitted. Milo? Lola? Uh, no. Yeah, it's you. Your immediate presence is requested. And this ain't a request. No. Go to first and insert right now. She's waiting for you at the school, your strangler. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. <laughs>